and welcome to the lecture on line charts in Excel. We have financial data in the form of stock returns for 10 years, from 2000 until 2010. Here, by modifying the minimum and maximum bounds, we effectively control the period for our chart. Let's choose a time frame from mid-2008 until the end of the same year. So we need to choose the beginning of July 2008 as a minimum. the y-axis shows percentage change. We ought to make that clear with the labeling as well. Okay, right-click on the y-axis and scroll down to Number. Now from the drop-down menu, let's choose Percentages. Good job! Now it's time to style up our chart. First, we remove the chart's fill and border. We follow up by selecting the Arial font for our graph and assigning a font size of 8. All right, what's next? Picking better colors, of course. We could also place it to the left of the chart in line with the y-axis. Superb! And that's it for line charts in Excel. See you in the interpretation lecture. Thanks for watching.